Hello everybody, welcome back to 115 Gaming, your home for all the tips and tools you need to excel at Six Siege, the board game. And today, Jack and I are here, super excited to bring you our first in-person gameplay with the physical copy of Six Siege, the board game. We have a game about to go into the setup phase. Uh, we're going to play Hostage on Coastline, and you know, I'm joined by Jack. Hey everybody. And so I'm going to be on attack, Jack is going to be on the defense, uh, we'll just walk through which characters we chose, and then we'll go straight into Jack's setup. Alright, so I'm playing the attacker side, and firstly what happened was, is we did pick ban, Jack banned Jackal and IQ, so I could not bring those two operators. Uh, so the team I chose is, uh, was Zero, Amaru, Sledge, Ace, and Ying. And kind of my thought process was just kind of grab a little bit of everything. So uh, Zero, I'm hoping he can kind of locate the operators behind walls. Uh, Mara's kind of like my <laughs> sneaky fragger. I want her just to be, kind of be able to kind of like jump around the map and do whatever. Uh, Sledge is going to be my soft breacher. So he's going to, uh, I'm hoping, uh, destroy a bunch of utility and soft walls. Uh, Ace will be my hard breacher. But I also brought Ace because Jack, we'll get into this with his team, he brought Oryx. Uh, so I'm hoping that with Ace, I can kind of counter Oryx a little bit by uh, blowing up some of the interior <coughs> spaces so he can't use those. And then, uh, and he also has the red destroy. Uh, and then Ying, uh, she is my stunner operator, so hopefully I can use her to flash the enemies a couple times uh, to my advantage. And then finally for my tactical inventory, I brought one breaching charge, one claymore, two frag grenades, and two smoke grenades. So that is my team. Jack, what about you? All right, so to start off with, Ethan banned my two most used and probably most favorite ops, Pulse and Vigil. Uh, he did not want me bringing these guys. So, in lieu of that, I have brought Oryx, Cade, Ela, Mute, and Wamai. And uh, the general idea behind the team I brought is I generally like to play uh, a very aggressive style of defense. Uh, but this game, I'm trying something a little bit different and focusing primarily on entry denial. Uh, Ethan's brought a lot of tools to help him infiltrate into the base, into, you know, what the defense that I've set up. And really, I brought a lot of tools to try to make that as difficult as possible, is my plan. Really, that's what I'm trying to do here. So, yeah, that's everything on my side. All right. Are you ready to set up then? I am ready to set up. All right, Let's so and we're start. going into the point phase. You have 15 minutes. All right, so I've already placed the two hostage tokens down. Obviously, I know which is the real one. Ethan has no idea. Unless he cheated. In which case, this will be a real short game. So, <clears throat> um, usually I like to start by placing my tactical inventory that I brought and any of my setup gadgets. So I brought two bulletproof cameras. I'll go ahead and grab those from here. I have my two mute jammers and Wamai's two magnets as well as Cade's Electro Claws. So quite a bit to put on the map here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and by using these Electro Claws. And what I always like to do, especially with Cade's Electro Claws, is they're really unique in the fact that they are a red destroy. So they're very difficult for the attacker to get through without bringing someone like Ace um, or Thermite or Habana uh, however, I can pass through them freely, so they work very well for just picking an entryway space that you don't feel super comfortable being around, that you want to make really difficult for your opponent to get through. So I think I'm going to place them here on the map so that I can kind of shore up defenses on areas I think Ethan might want to drop through to get access to the hostage. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my mute jammers. Um, I already kind of, before we did anything, had an idea of where I wanted to place these. Um, so since I know Ethan's brought sledge, something I want to be really cognizant of is uh, placing gadgets too close to each other. Um, Sledge's ability allows him to break through a wall or enter a space and perform two destroy actions or a destroy and an attack action. So something that uh, can really mess with the defender is if you stack up all your gadgets on one space, like so, Sledge can come in and in one action destroy both of them. Or a well-placed frag grenade can destroy both of them. So I'm going to be placing this mute jammer right here next to this door. Um, 
Actually, I'm going to place it right there. It's kind of hard on this map. Too. It, yeah, this map is very close together, up. so there's not really a perfect spot for any of it, but try to place it next to things that I think are going to provide him the least amount of value for his action economy. This would have been a good thermite. <clears throat> yeah, it would have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reposition this camera, I think. And I'm going to put this camera right here. And, uh, well, no, we'll leave that camera right there. That's fine. And then I'll stick this mute jammer like so. Okay. And then I got my two magnets. These are Wamai's gadgets. And they just, uh, they're very simple. The opposing operator cannot toss throwable gadgets into a room containing a magnet. So really... What I'm thinking with these is I want to stick them spots where I think Ethan's going to either be trying to smoke into um, or just get some frags off or anything that's going to make my day harder. He brought two operators that have throwable gadgets. So that's partially why I brought both Mute and Wamai to really close off as much of the map as I could. So I think we're going to place one of them... We're going to place one right here. Hmm. And I think we're going to place the other one. Put it right here. Is that too close? I want to really think about, um, because this, if Ethan comes through this way, he can easily gain access to both hostages. So that's what I'm trying to figure out right now is how I might want to close off this section of the map because if he tries to come through here or there, he has to pretty much commit to one hostage specifically and he can reposition, but with a lot of effort. So I'm really trying to make the most use of my gadgets, make him work for as much intel as I can. And I think we're gonna put one of the cameras. Um, I'm gonna put one of my bulletproof cameras in this room right here. There's not a lot of visibility on this side of the map. I got a lot of visibility over here for this hostage, um, but I feel like I'm kind of lacking over here. So I'm gonna take my other bulletproof camera and going to set it right here in this room. I think that's, I think that'll be good. Okay, so I pretty much set up all of my inventory except for my last deployable shield. And for this deployable shield, I think I am going to go ahead and stick it uh, right here. Mm. Or not. I'm not, I thought about that and then I realized it might be better to put it in one of these rooms over here and just make it more difficult for you to Enter through that way, or maybe just up there, make that way more difficult to get through. Yeah, I think what we'll do is place my deployable shield in this hallway, like so. Okay, now we are going to get to placing my operators. So first, I'm going to put one of my Wamai well, tokens right here. And we're going to lean him out like so. And the other token is going to go like... I'm going to have him right here leaning out. Okay. Then we're going to place Ela and... I think we're going to go ahead and put one of her tokens <clears throat> I think we're going to put one of her tokens like so Okay. Actually, I'm gonna move it. 
and the other token is going to go upstairs, and she will be overwatching right here. Okay, now Cade, Oryx, and Mute. So I think with Oryx, I'm going to try to put Oryx, uh, because he's an obvious roamer, and Ethan's really going to be thinking about, you know, what positions can Oryx get to quickly with his ability. Um, who's he going to try to kill? Uh, I really want to place Oryx in some uh, positions kind of closer to where I think Ethan might try to infiltrate the map. Just because um, either way, it puts a little pressure on his deployment. And it's going to be making him think about what he needs to do, where he needs to put his attackers kind of play some mind games with him. Yeah. Okay, so let's put one of the mutes here. And the other mute. Um, does have orange destroy, so I think we're going to put this other mute token like so. Then, do I want to move any of my barbed wire, make any other destroys, anything that might make it easier for my ops to reposition, or just more difficult for him to get into here? I think I'm going to move this well, it doesn't really matter if I move that because Sledge would be able to destroy it either position. And that barbed wire is not in a bad spot. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it complete. Okay. So I'm gonna swap it to your deployment, five minutes. Okay, uh, it is my turn to set up, so I'm gonna start my five minute timer right here. Um, I think I already kind of know where I'm going to breach through. Oh, you did put orcs upstairs. I did. I ended up swapping one of the tokens upstairs <sighs> after thinking I thought I was going to have a little bit of an easier time. Dang it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can wait a little bit mm. before worrying about that. But no. Uh, okay, so I think here's what I'm noticing. I'm noticing that I, I might have a way in through this kind of portion of the map. Because uh, there's like a little room here where I have a little bit of breathing room um, before his operators can get around me. The closest one he's got here is what my. And he can't breach this hatchway. So um, what I'm thinking is, I know he's got Oryx, so I'm probably going to put Ace in a position where he can uh, destroy this hatchway uh, and then maybe breach through this door is what I'm thinking. Uh, so let's get him, get him over here. And let's, I think Sledge is probably going to come through this way. Um, and then... Where do we want Amaru? This is my first time playing Amaru, actually, so I don't know what to do. What are... Have you pretty much watched all the hatches? That's washed, that's blocked, that's blocked. That's... I mean, I can move to these, right? Or is it... Does it have to be a free space? A free entry? It space? does have to be a free space, yeah. So pretty much Amaru mm -hmm. is, at the moment, kind of neutralized. So let's worry about that later, then. Over here... Um, and let's go, I'm also thinking maybe down here could be a spot I could come through. What I need to do is figure out where the hostage is fast. Um, so maybe, let's put these guys down here. Um, right there, and I think zero and you to go there. Uh, right now my thinking is that they'll be my upstairs squad. I'm probably just gonna put them upstairs. Um, in fact, let's actually back this up because you've got that little window you can come through. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Let's just back these guys up over here. We'll put them over here. It's crazy. Okay. 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 All right. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna think too hard about this. Um, so I think we're just ready to go. Ready to go. Good stuff. Let's go okay. to deployment or in deployment. What's up? Um, Amaru can move on those spaces. Well, it says free. It says free. free. Free only means that there's an operator on it. Okay. Nothing about gadgets. Okay. So, 
fortified entryway spaces mm -hmm. are obstacles. Okay. Right, so she couldn't move to those. Yeah. She can't she can't move to the fortified. She can move to on the cave spaces. Okay. If you want me to go hmm. grab it, okay. I can I will just believe you for now. Uh, we'll just we'll run with that. that. Okay. Right. Five minutes. Here we go. Round one. Alright. Uh let's first things first. Uh so here's my here's my problem. I wanna go ahead and get those guys upstairs. Uh but if I give you time to defend this little room, I think I need to get in here first and establish a hole. All right. So first, before I forget, let's activate Ace, and let we're going to use one of his gadgets, and we are going to uh, throw a rubble token right here. So now Oryx cannot use that space if he is upstairs. So don't worry about that. I just want to get that out of my out of my way. Uh, but then I'm not actually quite sure what I want to do with him. I think. Oh, I just realized you could shoot him from over here. I maybe should have put him over, over on this side. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd have to run him all the way over. Uh, yeah, all right, so already I hate my position uh, and everything about it. I am not a fan, uh, So, but I have to do it. So I'm gonna move ace, so one, two, because this is an obstacle. Three, four, five, and I mean, maybe I could just keep him in front of this doorway. And let's do a little overwatch. All right, so he's going to sit here in front of this door. All right. All right, so that's Ace. Uh, and now we're going to go with, let's do Amaru. Uh, so this is Amaru. She's going to do the destroy action on this space, which will destroy this barricade. Get that out of the way. And she is going to move. What is what is Wamai's gun? Uh, he's at close range, one to three, two red, one yellow cover. Four to six. Two red, one yellow, one cover die, and then at seven plus one red, right. one yellow, one yellow. Amaro is gonna move. Oh man, that barbed wire there is actually pretty annoying. Uh, she's gonna move one, two, three, four. Does she want to peek? Should I? Oh. You're gonna have a Captain Tao <laughs> moment again. I know. Well, she's not for health. A heavy cover. If you roll, if you roll high on everything, you kill her. But what's the likelihood? Right, what's the likelihood? Uh, yeah, she is going to lean. All right. Is that? This is not the real one. Not the it real is the decoy. Okay, so I'm really hoping that that is not the fake then, that, that kind of, all right, so real mine's over there. Real mine is over All right, so she destroyed, she moved, and then she's just going to pop an overwatch to look down that hallway. Mm. All right, that's Amaru, and then next I will activate uh, sorry, Ace is supposed to be looking like this. I will activate Sledge. Oh, I should have had him looking this way. But you'd have to walk a long way around to get through this window. All right, I'm gonna activate Sledge. He is going to move one, two, three, and then he'll lean for four. Mm -hmm. And he will do just a regular destroy action on this camera. Okay. Destroy that, get that out of the way. Uh, and then uh, he'll probably just overwatch again. Just kind of get in the map. And I just I kind of just wanted to grab a room first mm -hmm. and work my way there. Mm -hmm. So he will just overwatch. Is there is there another something I can do? I don't think so. I can't get a drone through there, unfortunately, because I got to get rid of that barbed wire first. Uh, oh, and there's a mute chamber in there. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's it for me. We'll swap it over to your first turn. All right. He did reveal my. However, a lot of his turn timer is gone. So. Yeah, but I just have two ops. Zero. And Ying. Um, they do have some potential to kind of mess around with me where they're at. But more likely than not, he's probably going to take them upstairs. Zero can't throw any cameras into pretty much any useful areas where he's at right now. And uh, Ying could pull off a stun. It's However, not much in the first yeah, round. it's not gonna do much on the first round if those are if that's even the real mute token. That'd be a big chance for him. So, um, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I will activate one my eye. He'll unlean for one. I'm gonna move that, and then one my is going to move two, three, and he will lean out for four like. So, and re overwatch like that. And then I 
think what I'm going to do is activate mute. And this token is going to move one, two, three, four, and then lean out for five. And then this token will um, sprint and just go like that, one. Um, and then I still have three activations. However, I think before anything else happens, I really want to see what Ethan's going to do with Zero and Ying. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass it back to him. So, mm -hmm. minute 30. Yeah, minute 30. That's okay. Uh, I'm kind of deliberating if I want to breach this red wall. Because mm. now that you've moved oh, to medium range, I know I can take a shot from two red from heavy cover if I that's lean. True. I wasn't medium range anyway. But. Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess that's true. So... But I'd have to like get a drone in. I can't. I can't see the hostage because it's, it's hiding behind this Correct. this table. So and I to get a drone in, I'd have to destroy this mute jammer mm -hmm. first. So that's like a whole lot of stuff I'd have to commit to scan there. And I'm wondering if that's worth it. Uh, and then you still got orcs up there. So I think I'm just gonna go upstairs. Um, okay. So what, who do I want to do first? We'll just go ahead and do zero. Uh, zero is going to move one, two, go upstairs for three right there. And he will. So you've got mute jammers in both rooms. I can't um, deploy a drone anywhere. Uh, let's Overwatch. Uh, we'll Overwatch. Ooh, um, that space. And then we'll move Ying. One, two, three, four, five. She is going to go upstairs as well, and she is going to Overwatch uh, this other one right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. My can she up. deploy in vertical? Yeah, she can. She can in okay. vertical. Yep. Three okay. Minutes. Oh, there's no like timer on it. Okay. Um, or a sound, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Well, my, I was getting texts. I can't hear. Oh, I see. Hear the sound. That's fine. It's just I don't always remember to look at the clock. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna activate Cade first. Um, I like the position of that one because he can easily switch around to get vision on what's going on. Um, I think what I will end Just up case, I doing, <laughs> because Ethan does have two ops upstairs, so I want to be careful about that. I think what I'm going to do is unlean this Cade for one, move two, and then lean him back out this way. And so uh, the reason I did that is because this is a vertical room, so Ying could stun him while he's in that room and blow this hatchway. Even though she would get stunned, he could just leave her up there and then drop zero, shoot Cade point blank if that's the real one. So uh, just trying to cover all my bases, but I like where this one is at because he can easily rotate to get coverage on this push right here. So then I still have Ela and Oryx. And what I really want to focus on right now is making sure I'm getting them in positions where they're going to be of use in the coming turns. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Oryx. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to move... this token downstairs right here for one, two, and then th three, four, I think. No, we'll do it one, and then we'll just put him right there for two. Here, watch okay. Thank you. Um, and then I'll unlean this one for three, four, five, run for six, seven run this one upstairs, and then I will overwatch. Where should I overwatch? I think I'm gonna overwatch this space right here. Um, Did you and, swap them? Yeah, pretty nice. much. And then Ela, I kinda like where she's at. I kinda like the area she's overwatching, so I think I'm gonna keep Ela, where she's at for now, because I like that token there. So, um, yeah, we're gonna keep that where she's at. Okay. 
Uh, going in upkeep, nobody's located, there's no overlays. They're on two. Just pretty, pretty, yeah, no pretty, deaths. pretty chill first round, yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling, I'm just, I have a feeling that this is the real hostage. Um, I don't know. I just, I have a feeling that I've come all the way over here and it's the complete opposite of <laughs> one of the real hostages. All right, you ready for next round? I am ready for the next round. All right, starting round two, five minutes. Let's, right. let's just solve it right now. Let's just solve it. Um, I think I'm going to move Sledge up here. And the only is it works a runner. I mean, he can move one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'll unlane sledge for one. We'll go two, three, and we will lean for four, and then we will. Yeah, nobody can see me. I will do a regular destroy action. Okay. On this, is that the real hostage? It's the decoy hostage. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the real hostage is over here. Mm -hmm. Um, that's fine, but now we know. Okay, so I've destroyed, and I guess, what do I want to do then? I guess we'll overwatch, just kind of like look down this area. I think that could, that could limit you a little bit. Okay, well, that's not good news. Uh, but, I, I got three rounds. All, I will, I will slowly work my way over. Now wishing I had, uh, somebody like Monty. Um, okay, let's, so let's just cover our tracks here. Let's activate Ace, and he'll go one, two, and he'll lean for three, just to kind of block off you coming this way. I don't want, I don't want you to kind of get close to my back. And he's got a pretty good mid-range gun, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And Amaru will, uh, she'll activate, and she will go ahead and do the destroy action on this camera. Okay. Let's just get that out of the way. And she will unlean for one, uh, two, three, lean for four. We are making a slow advance. That's the name of the game here. I am not going to go fast and loose. And that is going to be... Um, yeah, I would love to destroy this and like send her a drone, but then she can get shot at. So I'm just I'm trying to play very conservatively. I'm trying to play very conservatively, and I'll swap it over to your time. All right. Hopefully, I can start. Oh, I also have to get rid of this first before I can shoot a drone. It's through, true. So. It's true. I kind of okay. my hand. I think probably I'm gonna go ahead. I might go ahead and reveal some stuff. Well, I think I can wait till my second activation to do that to try to gain as much information as possible before you do anything. So. Tough right there. That is tough. However, it's a pretty good spot for my guys. So, um, what I think I'm gonna do is hmm. it's a good position to hold right there. That, you know, that's a good spot to be in. I'm I. I'm purposely trying <laughs> to go slower and methodical because right. it's always been a mistake on attack. Right. But it means I'm probably going to cut it close to the wire when yeah, it comes to getting the actual That's hostage. true. That is true. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and I like where Wamai's is at because if that wall gets destroyed, I instantly have a lot of vision on that room and can repost. I don't Love where Mute's at, but for you to get over there would be a lot of effort. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll activate Ewa, who will move one, um, two, three, and lean out for four, like so. And the other Ewa is going to keep that overwatch there. And then I think I will go ahead and... I don't know. I might just end up passing. I'm Actually, activation? you know what I will do? I'll just go ahead and activate Cade because I know what I want to do. I will reveal that this is the real Cade. Okay. And I'm going to take the destroy action on that wall right there because he has orange destroy. Yep. yep. And then I'm going to re-overwatch that direction. Okay. 
Nope, nope, totally. And pass it back to you. All right, I think I have an interesting play. So um, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I've got to create pressure from multiple sides in order to keep you on your toes. That's true. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate zero. He's going to drop down from the upstairs down to this spot. One, two. He's going to do the destroy action on this square to destroy okay. this door. And then he is going to overwatch right like that. Mm. Um, and then I will activate Ying, and she is going to drop one, two, three, four, five, and she has to sprint, so six. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I have line of sight to that orcs token. Okay. It's the fake. <sighs> it is the fake. So you literally, he was downstairs and you moved him back upstairs? I did move him back upstairs. That's crazy. Okay, uh, so she moved six, and, uh, and we here, will, I don't think you can see, yeah, we'll Sorry. lean for seven. And then she is going, she sprinted, and she is going to Overwatch. Um, so watching this, because now where I know it works is upstairs, so you can't get down that way. Uh, you could come down that way, but you don't have enough move to get all the way around. So yeah, so I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do a little like a squeeze from the center. That's mm -hmm. it, uh, your turn. Okay. Back to uh, me. Yeah, because I can't, yeah, because right. I used all my actions. Basically. All your actions, okay. So yeah, so you've definitely opened up a new avenue for me to have to consider. That's mm -hmm. good. Um, now what I'm really trying to think about is with Oryx revealed, is there anything I can go ahead and do with him that's really going to help me out here? Um, trading shots there. I don't just think bum rush through here. <laughs> sure, I could. Yeah. I would not survive, but I could do that. Um, I like the positioning of that token, I think. Probably I'm going to activate Mute, and this token will unlean for one, and just uh, move two, and then three, lean like so. And then this token is going to lean out for four, like that. Mm -hmm. And then I have still Wamai and Oryx. I don't hate Wamai's positioning. I kind of like where he's at, so I might try and see what I can really feasibly pull off with Oryx, which isn't much at this venture, I don't think. But what I am going to do is go ahead and overwatch with Oryx. Where is his thing? And I am going to overwatch... Who do you have? A lot of good close range guys. A lot of good close range guys, but they can't really get upstairs. Um, I'm going to overwatch this space right here. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Is that it? That is it. So All we're right, gonna go so to upkeep. upkeep. Uh, Nobody died. Head, still. No overlays. Okay. All, All right. right. <laughs> Next <laughs> round. Round three. Here we go, Ethan. You gonna ramp up? Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Yeah. Um, I, if I, could just I think I have one play, but I feel like it's really a trade because you have orcs upstairs, and I don't know if I can quite. I don't know if I can quite stop it, but I wonder if it's worth it. It might be. Um, let's just do it. We're gonna go ace. Okay. He's gonna move, oh, he has to unlean for one. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, actually he can't. I thought he was just sitting here. I oh, thought I could, I thought I could run over here take and out. take care yeah. of Cade. Yeah, so I can't. Um, so I'm actually, so this is gonna be, I actually have to, this has to be precise what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I will, let's, that would, this thing would stun me and give me a damage. It stuns you and it gives you a damage. I just want to make sure. Uh, um, don't like, I don't like any of my options. Let's go, we'll just do the up, the downstairs crew over here on this angle. Let's activate Ying and she is going to throw a frag grenade right here. Oh, no, that's a one my thing, so I can't actually throw something You cannot throw anything in there. No. Yes. Uh, I can, I'd have to destroy that first, right? You have to Wouldn't destroy I? it, then throw something. <sighs> that's really annoying. Yep. <laughs> I don't like it. Indeed. I don't enjoy it. Um, but nobody's still nobody's kind of watching in here. So, I mean, you've got this token. Um, oh, man. Oh, no, dude. I'm going to spend so much time thinking about this. I don't know what to do, don't know what to do. Um, okay, let's move, we're gonna activate zero. He's gonna move one, two back upstairs, 
He is going to deploy a breaching charge here. Interesting. Uh, to get rid of this, let's open up another lane of pressure, and then he is going to Overwatch this space um, mm. to keep Ying safe, and then we will activate. Ooh, um, man, this is tough. Okay, let's activate Sledge. Let's not think. Let's activate tomorrow. No, no, why do I slash? Sorry. Uh, he, on, he's going slash. to no. throw a smoke grenade right here uh, so we can kind of sneak in. And okay. then he is going to unlean for one, two, three, four. You don't have anybody else that can like locate mid game, right? Uh, nope, no locate. He will do the destroy action on this Mew Jammer. Okay. I don't know if he needs to do that, but we're just going to do it anyway, just to be safe. And then let's activate Amaru, and she will move. So one, two, five. She'll unlean for one, two, three, four, five. Uh, at some point, this is all going to come crumbling down. Mm -hmm. And you know what? She will uh, uh, send in a tactical drone. She's going to deploy it right here, and then it'll move one, two, Three right here. Scan that uh, token. That is the fake Ela. That's the fake Ela. Ela is upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Um, and then uh, I will pass it back to uh, you. All right. I'm gonna activate Cade. Cade is going to throw a nitro cell targeting the space that Sledge is on, since you can throw through smoke. Um, so I'll pause the timer. So for a nitro cell, Wait, sorry, we, so I missed that. What? I'm throwing a nitro cell here. Yeah, I forgot you had that. And um, so Sledge will take two orange die of damage, and then Amaru will take one orange yeah. die. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. What are we talk about? I'm Jack? sorry. I'm what are we talk about? I did roll six damage though, oh so Sledge gosh, is dead. Jack. <laughs> Bro. Um, and then I'll roll one That's orange die of damage way to die. for Amaru. One damage. One. And then Cade will re-overwatch. Should it even count if it rolls out of the tree? <laughs> I think you should re-roll. No, 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 no. It doesn't have lit, it doesn't have sides on it. All right, I've been. Uh, this is an unfair all you have advantage. To do is a nice little See, gentle roll. I genetically can't do a limp wrist roll, so <laughs> it's really this is I'm being discriminated against. Mm. All right, sorry, I forgot to use my time. Okay, um, and then he'll re-overwatch. Yep. Good job, good job, Cade. You are much appreciated. Okay, so we got Ying right there. Zero is upstairs. It's okay. It's okay. It's not. <laughs> it's just one. It's just one guy. How bad could it really be? He's just my um, soft breacher. Soft breacher. Yes. Yeah. And there's not much to breach around. He's just very important. He's just a boy. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what I'm gonna do next is really I problem is you still got two activations and I'm not really sure what you want to do with them. Hey, Zero's on the bright side. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them either. <laughs> Zero's not really reachable for me right now because he's got a great gun. I don't feel confident about their abilities to kill him upstairs. Ela could maybe do it with two red and a yellow, but that heavy cover is a lot to bank on. So I would need to max roll everything else, so that's not going to work. I think what I will do is I'll actually activate um, Ela. No, I'll activate Oryx. And Oryx is going to... Well, I thought that would be a good idea. No, I don't think it is. All right, sorry. Let's activate mute. This token is gonna unlean for one in that spot, mm -hmm. and move two. Careful, you you are tilting it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you like flipped it up. So real like professional. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, um, and then he will move four and five like so, and then I'll pass it back to you. All right, um, let's go with Ying. Uh, she is going to unlean for one, and then she is going to, she's gonna get located. Two. I will also use one of Hila's uh, reactions. Okay. So you are either stunned or 
Um, you can lose an action. Okay, I will take a stun. Okay. And be located. And be located. Yeah. All right. Uh, continue. She is going to plant my claymore right here. Very nice. And then she will move. Uh, uh, so you've already activated mute. So mm-hmm. one, two, three, four. We will. Who do you have? Who do you have left? Sorry, I have Oryx, Oryx Ela, Ela, and Wamad. Okay, that that back area is blocked. You're not going to come down there because you will probably die. You can't come in with mute. You have Wamai is all the way over here. Ela can't follow her down here. Oryx can't come down to either one because again, unless you want to sacrifice one and then drop the other down to kill her, that would be <laughs> that would be based. Um, so she will just um, lean. For five, and she's going to Overwatch. I am coming for you, Leo. I am coming. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and then I have Ace. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought too long about uh, Ying. Um, man, I'm so mad about Sledge. I'm so mad. Um, let's. Man, let's. Unlean for one. Two, three, four, five. Let's um, destroy this and then Overwatch. Because I'm trying to make sure you can't get behind him. I wish I could lean him out this way. One, mm. two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't lean him, but um, I just think I'm still blocked out. Okay. okay. That's interesting. All right, your time is. Uh, I, we need to be paying attention. Yeah, oh, I mean, I. Okay. It was just a simple move, and oh, did I, I run out of time before I finished that. I, I don't know. Did it. It's okay. It All right, uh, I'll activate Wamai. Okay. I do have a plan for him. So Wamai is gonna move one. Oh, he has to unlean. Did you unlean him? Oh, sorry. Unlean. That is only one, two, you get three, four, and he will lean forward for five. Oh. And I'm going to call a shot. Okay, I'll call a repost first if you're going to call a shot. Well, technically, I have to call a repost. <laughs> you have to call a repost before I call the shot, technically. Yeah. So um, if you want to call a repost, there you can. Yeah, are you going to challenge it? Uh, no, I'm not going to challenge right. it. Medium range, uh, but I'm stunned. You have heavy cover. Uh, so just two yellows. Roll that right there. No damage. Okay. And then I will call a shot on Ying. Okay. Heavy I cover, will challenge. Range. Okay. It doesn't matter. I, I don't care. Just yeah. go ahead. located, too. Yeah. I don't think it's going to mean much. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so then he will shoot two reds and a yellow since it is four to six range. And you do have to be covered. So. I'm ready for another obscene roll. Five days. What on earth? Yeah. All right. Dude. So that, that's crazy. I did not expect to get a kill there. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and resume my time. That's nuts. That was a crazy high roll right there. All right, uh, for his last action, he is going to run. Do I even like this game? <laughs> <laughs> he will unlean for one. He can only run two, and then he'll run one more to right there. Try to maybe save him. Um, then I'm going to activate Oryx, and I think it's kind of a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Is that worth it with zero upstairs and only Ela left? Yeah, it might be worth it to just grab that kill. Yeah, we're gonna take, I mean, we're gonna play a little little crazy. I'm gonna activate Oryx. And Oryx is gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then he will run to lean out right there. Yeah, I'll call her a post. Okay. You got heavy cover, short range, two yellow and a red. I was really hoping you wouldn't do that, but I guess at this point you can afford it since you're just gonna roll high and I'm gonna no roll damage. nothing. And then I will shoot him point blank, no cover. So two oranges and a red. Yeah. All right. As a dead ace. You, know, you didn't need to roll that high because I didn't have cover. <laughs> I, I didn't mean. It's not like I'm doing anything. His ace has five health. He yeah, rolled I rolled. Six. He has no cover. Uh, and I will sell fins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ace has eight health this game, yeah, actually. Yeah. He's wearing a juggernaut suit. Um, I and wasn't able to lean in with the move I had. Ela is going to. Who do I. Th- well, 
Yeah, actually, Eva's just gonna switch her Overwatch to this space right there. And I will be done. All right, round four. All righty. I've lost three operators yeah. in one turn. So I don't. I missed something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it would matter, but technically Sledge isn't allowed to destroy that Mute Jammer because Sledge is inside smoke. You don't have line of sight inside or outside of smoke. Okay, I'll put it back then. Okay. I mean, that's not it. It's... Yeah, okay. But no, thank you. That's a good point. I always mm -hmm. forget about that. All right, starting round four, two minutes. Uh, sorry, this comes off. Yes. Well, your locate on one mine comes off. Yep. Um, well, poop. Uh, I am absolutely positively screwed to the umpteenth degree. Um, yeah, the mix of Kaid and um, Oryx is, like, Amara hasn't even really been to do anything she's supposed to do. Um, she'll move one, okay. located two, three. I don't know if leaning's gonna matter, but I guess I'll lean um, for four, and I'll okay. pop one my point blank in the face. Um, short range, no cover. All right, you can put that on her. Yeah. Uh, she gets a yellow, an orange, and two. I wonder if he'll survive. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> barely, barely Woo! kill. Look at that. Gone. He's a goner. Yep. It's not gonna do much. Um, and then she will. Is there even? Is there even a point overwatching? Um, you do have line of sight to this stand. Yeah, but I've already shot. So. Well, I mean, but oh, it'll so reveal it. Yeah. it. yeah, this is the real mute. <laughs> uh, would you believe me if I told you I already knew? Because you flipped that token up to the base. I can't. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so overwatching, I don't think is really going to do her much good. So I'm just going to throw a frag grenade right on top of you, uh, on the leading standee right here. So two yellow. Okay. I mean, it's damage. I, damage is damage. Damage is damage. We'll see what we got. Uh, one, one damage. damage. Something, I guess. Uh, and then I will activate zero and, sorry, continue my time. And he'll move down. He'll get located. One. Um, he'll go two, three, four, five. Uh, and let's just sprint him six, lean seven. Okay, so I will repost um, short range, heavy cover. Yep. And that got a good roll, but two reds and an orange. Mm -hmm. That's uh, three damage. Three damage. You want to reroll? No, I'll keep that. Okay, three damage is located. All right, well, zero will shoot at you point blank. No cover. I'll say that he does have cover. You say that he does have cover? I think that leaning standee crosses through the walls. Though. I totally, totes disagree. Okay. Let's see. I think we can do the, the thing, right? No. <laughs> My hand is shaking too much. We'll use this. Because it's the horsey move. Yeah. Okay. Totally do. All right. I'll take 30 seconds from your time. <laughs> Minus 30. Um, from your five minutes, and so point blank, no cover. So yellow into red. Four damage. Four. Look at so that literally barely. Hey, he's dead. Dead is dead. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, uh, that's all their actions. They've done everything. Okay. So it is your turn. Okay. Um. Well. Oh, I, I should have I'm used in, an e grenade, dude. I'm that could have prevented that whole thing. Dang. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, I will activate Elo. She will drop down for one, two, three, and um, she'll, you know, she'll shoot at Amaru point blank, no cover. Go ahead. Two reds, two yellow. Yep. yep. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, well, I'll actually go um, four and then five lean out. Okay. Her. How much? Yes. And then I can re-overwatch with her. Sorry, I forgot my timer there. Um, re-overwatch with her. And then, you are in the hostage room, however. Um, I'll reactivate Oryx, who will unlean for one, two, three, four, five. He'll run upstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Oryx will re-overwatch. Um, I guess right here. I mean, you can't go upstairs with the hostage anyway, mm -hmm. but, um, and then activate Cade, who will unlean for one, 
and um, he'll move. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So I need to be he'll move only for one, two, three, four. Mm, I might not have vision there actually. I'll lean out for five right there, and then he will shoot zero. Um, heavy cover, and uh, that's short range. Uh, who? Zero. Heavy cover, short range. <sighs> sure. Located. All right, so just two red, but he does have three damage on him. Oh, I'm Bro, so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> just All a right. nice little gentle nudge. <laughs> I'll actually use my reroll token. Okay, yeah, might as well. Yeah. Because you just need to deal. Yeah, I mean, oh, nope, even nothing. less damage. Well, that's fine with me. Worthless. <laughs> okay. And then he will overwatch. Where was this? This is right here, right? Yeah, he's right there, and then he'll overwatch. Yeah. Um, okay, and then that's it, actually. I'm all done. All right, round five. Round five. So, I mean, this sucks for me, but I do have a chance of getting the hostage out. Like, I'm in the room with the hostage. Um, we'll see what I can do. All right, take off. Locates. Locates. Locates are all gone. Next Locates. Round. Uh, any overlays? I don't think so. <sighs> all right. There all right, go. okay. So, firstly, I'll unlean for one. And I will do the dis oh wait no uh, oh man no not enough actions no it's not that I have enough actions it's that if I unlean I get talk tagged by the camera yes right yes is that how that works yep any action any movement <sighs> and and so doing a smoke won't do anything um, all right well I will do the destroy action on this camera okay then I'll unlean. Um, never mind that, it's not a problem. And I will, so one, we'll go two, I am picking up the hostage. Okay. Uh, three, four, five, and then I'm going to throw down a smoke grenade on top of myself, uh, right here. I'm gonna hide in the smoke. Uh, that's it. <laughs> your, your, your turn. Okay. Because you don't have any natural cells, right? Uh, I don't have any nitro cells, no. Yeah. Didn't you, how many smokes did you bring? Two. Okay. Alright, um... I got the hostage with me. Okay. Well, I will activate Ewa. I don't think I used any of my team's gadgets at all. It just never, One, it never, never two, came up. three, four, lean out for five. Why do that when you can just pick up the hostage? Yeah. Um, and I mean, then she'll overwatch. Wish I could have. Yeah. And then, um, there's no way I get out. Activate Cade, who will unlean for one, two, three, four, lean out for five, mm -hmm. and Overwatch. Yep. Then I'll activate Oryx, who will, uh, he'll flip his little Rima tactical gear and go. One, two, three, four, five. Do you even get a repost the moment I get out on a perimeter space? I don't know. Do you know about that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get out there. But so you can't move there. through uh, enemy ops, I know. So, oh, are you going to block the door? Yeah. <laughs> Six, and then lean out for seven. Okay. So there's there's literally no way I can get out. That's too good. Alright. <laughs> That's so mean. They were the so corner mean. and he just like died. That's so <laughs> mean. Alright, upkeep phase. <laughs> Actually, that was round five, so, yeah, so we go overtime, overtime round. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. I it was it was still kinda close, right? It was still, it was still kinda close. Game. We'll do overtime. We're doing we'll do it. Yeah. We'll play it out. Smoke goes Pick away. Yeah. All locates go away. So end game end or not end of game, overtime. Overtime round, yep. Uh you gotta, you gotta hit it in the corner. I'm trying touching, real hard, man. You got, you're touching the Stupid line iPhones. on the on the iPhone. iPhones. Okay, um, I will shoot Ela. I have to first because uh, okay. I'm watching. So that's short range, heavy cover. He gets a yellow and two red. I kind of wish I was a medium cover, but anyway. Okay, watch this, Jack. Watch this little nice little gentle flip. Two damage. Okay, I'll repost. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, that's cool. I'll repost. Good for you, I guess. Yeah. Uh, two reds and a yellow since you have light cover. Short yeah. range. Nice. There you go. Okay. Good, Good game. game. Good, Good game, game bro. <laughs> yeah, that one was. Um, I felt like I was playing well, but those like two. I mean, the nitro slide I just forgot you had, but the, the what was it the really good roll of Ying? Man, that just 
That, that was, was a tough one that I didn't expect to pick up that kill. Yeah. I was just trying to put pressure with Wamai there. Like um, how, do you think it would have been a lot harder for you if I could have gotten Ying in a little bit earlier? Or do you think it would have turned out the same? I think it would have been harder. I think the biggest problem was that Ace was not in a position... Uh, Ace and Amaru were just not in a position to do much all game. Yeah. And so... Honestly, by, okay. when you pick when you pick Kaid, Amara was just kind of in a bad she's spot. tougher to use. Yeah. yeah, so she didn't really get to do much. Um, I, I mean, Ace was able to block this flank with Oryx, but you mm. weren't even upstairs at that point. I'll tell you what, uh, so, I was really surprised you. Either I would have destroyed this or destroyed this with Ace. I was Be thinking about this because, and, and I understand that Oryx is scary, mm -hmm. but. For me to drop there is a just an instant trade yeah. with all the guys you had. So well, at the time, everybody, I was just worried if I broke it. Yeah, I then have to, I would have to worry about it. Yeah, that's and true. I didn't, wanna, I didn't want to deal with that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was just a, that was a tricky decision over here. Uh, and really, man, if I could have leaned Ace, you know, I don't know, you rolled high, it was actually wouldn't have mattered. I don't think. But yeah. Um, mm -hmm. really, I think this. I think I could have done it with the sledge kill was just a mistake because I forgot you had a nitro cell. I mean, you rolled really well. On that one. But the Ying kill is really where I went, man. That's it's gonna be too yeah. tricky. I mean, I didn't really expect to pick up. I thought it'd be really nice if I got a kill with the Nitro Cell there. Yeah. Um, but mainly what I wanted to do was just tag them. Yeah. Because I figured Cade's the thing with Cade is his gun is a little unreliable mm -hmm. because if they have any sort of cover at short or long, he can't kill them. Yeah. So I um, wish I had brought Thatcher to clear some because I was right. clearing so much utility. Right. Um, I don't know. I feel like I, I, I feel like I played well. But you were just your, your aim was better, um, and even then, even still, we got to the overtime round, and there was a slight chance for me to get out. I mean, but until you blocked the entryway. But still, like that's that's just it was a good game, good game, bro. Good game.